Eleanor Sheehan also spoke with the Club Q survivor today. She's joining us outside the Club Q Memorial. And Eleanor, a very emotional day for all of the people impacted. Diane, one survivor I spoke with to today tells me that the Colorado Springs and LGBTQ plus community is both resilient and strong. Today I spoke with Ashton Gamlin. She used to work here at Club Q. She was shot multiple times but survived. Today her and her family were in that courtroom. She read aloud her victim impact statement. She says she wanted the death penalty for the Club Q shooter. She tells me she was hoping this would go to trial and not result in a plea deal. Ashton says she she is relieved now that these court proceedings are over. Between myself, my family, and other victims, I think we're we're very much over it. We're very tired. Like it's great that it's done. We don't have to see him anymore, and he can be nothing but a thought in the wind. She says it's now time to continue her healing and try to move on now that the court process is over. She wants to move out of Colorado. Now, Ashton did tell me that it's important for her to never forget what happened here so she can honor and remember all the victims and their families. In Colorado Springs, Eleanor Sheehan, News 5.